You're watching Prophetic Drive Time. I'm Eli Lasky. Let's get into this word. So this message is a follow-up from the one we did yesterday. Uh, the blessings complete the process. Glory to God. And what the Lord spoke to me today, he said um, that the, 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 the words we speak on the inside are just as important as the words we speak on the outside. Now, many of you have been having issues with the inner voices. And the issue with the inner voices that you have is not that, they, that they're speaking, but the fact that you have agreed with them. Mm, glory to God. You see, because when you enter into a covenant with with the with the dark matter, glory to God, because that's what that is. Um, all of that darkness, you know, all of that darkness comes from uh, it's the portal for the enemy into our hearts. You know, our hearts is, is is the ground where we grow out all of our lives. You know, that flows out all the issues of life, and so that the 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 the, the flesh, the dark matter, um, flows through the flesh, right? And so what happens is because you have been accustomed to agreeing with it, it becomes a, 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 a it, it allows it to it, you've allowed a process of the voices to go straight into your heart. And that has that has an accumulative effect on you in terms of uh, uh, affecting your ability to go forward. But God says it's it's what you're saying on the inside. What and what you're saying on the influ, inside is not influenced by what God is saying about you. You see, God says one thing about you, but then the the the, the enemy speaks another thing. The little voices speak another thing. And you automatically agree with that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In spite of, you know, because what it seems like the, the little voices are saying, line up with your expectation of what's possible. Glory to God. What's possible. You see, but you got to understand we deal with a God who deals in the impossible. Glory to God. So what happens is, 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 is God says you have to break the covenant. You have to break that agreement. You have to break that agreement with those voices and say, you know what? I'm no longer in covenant with you. I no longer agree with you. I, I choose not to agree with you. Everything that you have, everything that you have influenced me to do has only been to my own demise. And I choose life. I choose not to agree. And what the Lord was showing me is this is this. You have all the power. For some reason, you've 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 convinced yourself, the enemy has convinced you that he has more power than you, then he has more power and control over you than you do. But God says you actually hold all the power. You see, because the Lord says, he showed me this. He says, when he, he says, I put before you life and death, blessings and cursings, you choose. In the word you choose, he was attributing to you all the power you need to make, to govern, to, to choose what life you can have blessings or cursings right you see but the cursings come from the cursings come from the background they come from that dark matter right and 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 and, and the lord says even though they entice you it takes your agreement and here mm, glory to god and god says your agreement gives the, it the power that it needs to destroy your life do you know that the enemy has been trying to destroy your life since you were since you were born the enemy's always been after you you see glory to god but see god says i kept you and he says but god wants you to be more than kept he wants you to be to to thrive and to thrive you have to break that agreement with those voices say no I don't agree and it and, and it's amazing because we don't always understand the simplicity that's in Christ the Lord says this the Lord says this right when the enemy comes and speaks something to you that's contrary to what God has spoken do you know what you do no I don't agree with that they say oh you know what you'll never be able to do that job you'll never be able to fulfill that calling look what you've done or look what look at your life or you know look at look look at look at um, um look at you look at you and it's like no i don't agree with that this is what god says and i choose to believe that that is you standing in faith and that is you actually uh uh uh, uh participating glory to god thank you father the lord says that is you actively participating in the dividing of the day from the darkness the the light from the night that 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 is you actively participating in that process until the blessings come and complete it glory to god and that's for those of you with promises over your head i'm talking about shifting now see because a lot of the voices that you're hearing are, have have been stirred up because of the promise over you. Glory to God. <laughs> you see, there is a promise hanging over you, God said, which which stirred up which stirred up the dark matter, which stirred it up to contend with it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the Lord said, your, your victory is sure if you do not give your power to it. And he says, your power is your agreement. Glory to God. So the, he said, the enemy can say anything he wants. 
you just don't have to agree. You see, but what happens is, glory to God, thank you, Holy Spirit, he says this. What happens is, is that when, when we have a promise over our head that has yet to come to pass, right? And that one day becomes two days, two days become a week, a week becomes a month, a month becomes a year, right? What happens is, uh, with each day, the enemy uh, teeth grows longer, grows longer. So the nibbling at first, you'd be like, yeah, right. No, I trust God. I trust God. But after a, after a, after a month, after a year, like, well, Lord, what's going on? I thought I see, you know, I, I thought you said, Lord, I thought you said, right? That's what he, that's what he's coming in. Oh, is, are you sure it's going to happen? And then you like, I don't know. And once you say you don't know, once you say within yourself, you don't have to speak it to nobody. But once you consider that in your heart and like, I don't know. Then it even changes the way you pray to God. Lord, I thought you said, as opposed to saying, you know what, Lord, it's taking a long time, Lord, but I trust you, Lord. Can you show me? And do I need to be moving in a different way, Lord? Because I know these promises are sure. You see, that's how you ward off and you knock the teeth back out of the enemy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And some of you, you're going to see, the, mm, mm, glory to God. For some of you, you're going to see an immediate catapult after you break this covenant because the Lord says that the seasons have changed for you, but your restriction has been in your mouth. Your restriction restriction has been in your covenant that you made on the inside. So even though you are professing outwardly, glory to God, you are saying something differently inwardly. Glory to God. Glory to God because you have come into an agreement. You have come into an agreement with dark matter. And God said you must denounce the you must denounce that agreement with the dark matter. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And mm, thank you Holy Spirit. The Lord says, "You know what? The dark matter wants to keep, the dark matter wants to, it loves the fact that you are, uh, uh, when you think about this from the, from, from the revelation that the Lord gave, uh, uh, in, in the creation when, uh, um, when he talked about how, um, uh, the, the, the earth was without form and it was void void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, right? The, the enemy wants you to stay in that environment. That's why he tries to keep you from hearing the gospel of Christ so that, so that, so that the Lord, so that the Lord can, uh, uh, because once you hear the gospel, then the Lord gets to work. He wants to start redefining you. He wants to start calling in the life. He wants to start calling in his desire for you, just like he did with the earth. Once he, once he spoke the light, he divided the light from, uh, uh the light from the, uh, uh, from the, uh, from the darkness. He created a separation of the two then he start calling forth he start calling for mountains and water and and i mean i mean land excuse me he start calling for land and trees and animals that's what god wants to do in you when he speaks a promise over you he's he speaks it in you to call it forth he wants to call it out but the enemy wants you to remain void and the lord says he has no power over you glory to god he said he has no power over you bless the name of jesus he has no power the lord says you just if you don't agree. Mm, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says the enemy needs your power to destroy you. He cannot destroy you without your agreement. He needs to make you, he needs to bring you into agreement with first, you're not enough. There's something wrong with you. Oh, uh, your past transgressions or your past issues are a hindrance up to you. You'll never make it. You'll never be able to go into that calling. You'll never be able to do the things God uh, uh, called for you. Oh, your promise is never going to come. All of these things, all, and God is saying, all you have to do is say this. No, I don't agree with that. No, I don't agree with that. I choose why? Because God has empowered me as his representation and made in his image and his likeness on the earth that I have the power. The greatest power that God has given you is the ability to choose. And your enemy knows that. That's why he always, that's why he's always trying to seduce you to agree. Because once you agree, you have given him the power now. Now you have transferred your power to him, just like Adam and Eve transferred their power to him in the beginning. Jesus said, I've come back to restore your power unto you. I've defeated him. That's why he's been, that's why he's sneaking around like, uh, yes, and trying to convince you to, to take on a foreign identity, uh, a foreign identity and, and to, and to, to pervert the possibilities that God has, God has clearly stated to you that existed. God says that these are, this is possible for you as my son, as my daughter. And the enemy comes and said, no, that's not possible. Is that really possible? Did God really say, where have you heard that speech before? And what you're supposed to say is, you know what? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Lord, I thank you, Father, because I deal with a supernatural God. I, I, I follow, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm made in the image of God who can take five loaves and a few fi few fishes and feed thousands, glory to God. I, I, I serve a God who walks on water, glory to God, who tells the, the winds and the waves to shh, be still, hold your peace, glory. That's the God I serve, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah.
You see, you see, and God wants to bring you into that supernatural understanding of your walk with him, that all things that look impossible in the natural are possible with him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the, but the dark matter, the dark matter wants to keep you formless and void. But God says, I've deposited a light in you that I desire to come out, that, that it must come out. And God says, you have to break the covenant. And for some of you, once you break that covenant, not you don't have to go into any seances or any mysterious, mystical type stuff. You just have to simply say, you know what? I no longer agree with that. I don't agree with that. And I choose to agree with you despite how you feel, despite your emotions. Again, you're, uh, mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. God says this to somebody. He says your emotions were given to complement your life, not to rule your life. Glory to God. But the enemy has come in to try to make your emotions be your God. Mm, mm, mm. You have to let the word of God, glory to God, even trump how you feel. So you come into an agreement with God and God says, when you come into agreement with me, then you, uh, then you will see the things that I have to desire for you come to pass and that's my word for you R remove participate in a process of, of separating the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the darkness from the, from, the, uh, from the light, separating the day from the night. You participating in that process because number one, your blessings is coming and the issues that you've been having with that, with, the, with those little voices are because of your, your previous agreements with it. God says, break the covenant. Say, I'm no longer in agreement with that. I'm not gonna be in agreement that I can't make it, that I can't do this job, that, that this wilderness is gonna last forever, that God ain't coming through. I don't agree with that. And then, you, and then after you say, after you denounce your covenant, then you go into praise. Lord, I thank you, Father, that my blessings are on the way. Lord, I thank you, Father, that that uh, that uh, the things that the enemy said I can't do, I can do with you. I thank you, Father, that all things are possible through you, Father, who gives me the strength. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And what you will be doing is you are participating in separating and in, in separating the darkness from the from the light, separating the the uh, night from the day. You are participating in that process with God until he comes in with the promises that you've been waiting on to complete it. Glory to God, hallelujah. The reason why the enemy has sprung up over you is be, sprung up over, over you the way that he has is because you got a promise over your head, even for those of you who don't know it. You see, he's trying to keep you from even realizing, uh-oh, that's a word from someone for someone. He's even trying to keep you from realizing, glory to God, what God has planned for your life. You see, and, and he's been springing up to keep you from hearing and seeing because he's trying to eat, uh, uh, continue to uh, bring confusion and just like a bunch of stuff. No, I don't agree with none of that. No, I have peace. I have peace. Why? Because the Lord said, my peace, I leave with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's my word for you. That's my word for you. Uh, pray that it bless you. Love you all. Talk to you all soon. Um, couldn't get to your, all, all your emails because there were so many. And I had just—I only had a limited, a limited amount of time. So uh, I thank the Lord for uh, uh, giving me a word today for for you. The dealing with the inner voices, every voice that you—that everything that you say, it has power to it. Even the, even the words that you speak within your own heart. Let me tell you something. What are you saying about yourself on the inside? That is so important. That is so important. That is so important because if when, once you say, once the things that you're saying on the inside match with the with, with the things you're saying on the outside. Watch out. Come into agreement with God in your heart and, and, with the, and with your mouth, and you'll see the power of God manifesting in your life like never before. That's my word for you. Hope it bless you. Talk to you guys soon.